Welcome to a brief discussion of cochlear implants. This video was created for the purpose of distributing information about cochlear implants for our developmental psychology class. Upon completion of this video, it would be greatly appreciated if you could provide us with some feedback on the video by answering the five questions in the last frame. You can leave your answers to the questions as a comment on the video. A cochlear implant is an electronic device that is surgically implanted to a person who is deaf. It can create the perception of sound for patients. It consists of an external microphone that splits sound into channels and sends the electrical sounds through a transmitter. The internal receiver and stimulator converts the electric impulses. They are then sent to electrodes which are wrapped around the cochlea. Here you are seeing images of the internal and external features of the cochlear implant. Hearing ranges from near normal ability to understand speech to no hearing benefits at all. Adults often benefit immediately and continue to improve for about three months after the initial tuning sessions. Children may improve at a slower pace. A lot of training is needed after implantation to help the child use the new hearing he or she now experiences. Most perceive loud, medium, and soft sounds. Many understand speech without lip reading. However, even if this is not possible, using the implants helps lip reading. It bypasses the cochlea, which is likely the source of deafness. There's a greater opportunity for a natural sounding voice. Distance hearing is likely better than with hearing aids, although FM systems are still needed in classrooms due to noise factor. Many can make phone calls and understand familiar voices over the telephone. Many can watch TV more easily, especially when they can also see the speaker's face. Some can enjoy music. Some enjoy the sound of certain instruments and certain voices. A negative view of the cochlear implant is that it can be a costly invasive surgery. One must cover more than just the operation itself, and it is not always covered by insurances. There can be technical difficulties as well as a time commitment for follow-ups. There are risks with physical impairments not limited to paralysis. The patients must be aware of the battery life of their device as well. People in the deaf culture take the view that they are fully functional and normal human beings. Also, their language, which is American Sign Language, is considered a true language. The cochlear implant gives the message that the deaf are not normal but disabled and need to be fixed. There are some attacks on the cochlear implant. One such attack is that there is little research on the effects the cochlear implant has on self-esteem. Also, results vary for everyone. The implant does not guarantee the person will hear quote unquote normal. So the question is, do the benefits outweigh the risks? That wraps up our presentation. Please take a few moments to answer the follow-up questions on this slide. They can be answered below as a comment on the video. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.